Okay, these I'll make a cup of tea the proper way. First up, a cup, mug, not a china cup, just a bog standard mug, nice brew. Now it's just got two spoons here. This one here, that's your common garden um, tablespoon, that's your teaspoon. You don't need this one, that goes. Um, you've got tea bags. We're going to need sugar, milk, kettle. Now, the kettle's got water in, start that boiling. Now, I go for the PG pyramid bags because they're my favourite. Um, there you go, pyramid bag, drop that in. The so next up, a lot of people will put the sugar in after, and uh, I put my sugar in now. Put the camera down a second, I can't get the body lid off. Yep, one sugar, two sugars. Then we can see in the cup. Stay on a sec. There we go. There you go, all the sugar's at the bottom there, sitting nice. Now some people will put the sugar in after. The reason they do this is beyond me. What I want is, when I pour that boiling water in that cup, I want that sugar dissolved instantly into the water. Um, milk, some people put that in like now, and to be honest, it's just fucking retarded. You don't do that. Um, we just got to wait for this kettle boil. Kettle's just boiled. Um, so here we go. Take the kettle. And, uh, pull the camera back a bit. I want the steam going over there. And just pour it in the water. I'm not a believer in teapots and all that bollocks. That's for people who can't be asked or are too tired to buy tea bags. And they're a couple of quid. There's no need for a teapot. You fucking tight horse people. Now you see, tea bags in. What I'm doing now. Give him a stir. You've got sugar in there. You want that? Make sure that sugar's all melted. Give him a stir. He's spinning. And we're going to leave him now for about two minutes. You can take it out now. We'll do it. We'll wrap through. Let it brew for a nice strong brew. Okay. Right, two minutes is up. Now, there's a bit of a dilemma for a lot of people here. Do you take the tea bag out now? and add milk, or we'll leave it in and add milk. As a rule, I generally take the tea bag out first. Some people prefer to leave it in, but what I find is if you put the milk in now, take the tea bag out, and the level's lowered of the tea, and uh, it'll take a lot of the milk out with it, the tea bag, it's kind of like a sponge, so. There you go. Um, I'm always squeeze it against the side or take it out. I always give it a little squeeze against the side. Just let that flavour flood out. There we go. Look at that. One delicious tea bag. Mm. Right, there we go. Now next we want the milk. Here it comes. Here it comes. Just a little uh, little little dash of milk. Just a tiny little dash to begin with. And a quick stir. See the colour change. Now what I like to do here is uh, add it drop by drop. So I start getting the the colour the colour right. Now it's still a little little dark for my liking, but some people like it strong. A bit more milk for me. I'm a milky kind of chap. And there you have it. A lovely little brew. If there's no bubbles in the middle, they haven't stirred it right. It's as simple as that. It needs a good stirring. It adds sugar in. You don't want to be left with a load of sugar at the bottom of your cup. You end up looking like a right fucking dick. So, that's basically how you make a cup of tea.